you know, it's, it was a uh, very cool experience, most humbling experience, but, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm honored that my teammates think of me that way, and you know, I look forward to, you know, helping do what I can to, you know, lead this team to, you know, wherever we want to go this year. Yeah, that's me assuming that, you know, you've been a captain because you've been around for a long time. And yeah, no, nah, first time, I'm excited, man. No, go ahead, sorry. So what's that like for you, just now, obviously, being a veteran, and just kind of leading this group, but alongside of a lot of veteran key players here, how have you seen the progression? Yeah, no, um, it's been, uh, I think a lot of it is just coming back to the guys who have kind of been around in the locker room. Like uh, Matthew, obviously, been here for a couple years, but he's been doing it for X, however many years he's been doing it, 16, 12, how, how many years is it? 35. Yeah, 35, whatever it is. Uh, Cooper's been a very influential person, but, you know, I just, and even last year, having a guy like Andrew Whitworth around, um, kind of learn, learning off him, you know, I, I pretty much give a lot of my success for most of my pretty much all my success to him. And so it's definitely kind of soaked up, I guess, his leadership qualities, and then how that relates to, I guess, me being me. And then that's kind of what I what I roll with, because, you know, I'm, I'm still my own person, and I gotta go do it, do it my way. And, uh, but I've definitely learned and pick up a lot of things through, uh, through guys like that. How much of a change is that with, with you know, not technically in the, I know he's been coaching yeah. on the sidelines here and there. Right for you, what's that change done like? Uh, well, you know, uh, first thing, I'm, you know, I'm definitely happy for him. You know, to go, to go out the way he did and on his own terms, winning a Super Bowl, winning both play the end of the year. I mean, you can't write that story any better. So I'm definitely happy for him. But, you know, it's uh, it was definitely a shock first couple days. No, Jay's not having a big fella around. But, you know, he's, he's, a, uh, he's such a selfless guy where it's always, he's always around. His help is always there. All you got to do is ask. He's more than willing to... Happy over to his house. He'll come out here. Whatever, whatever you need, he's still there. So he's still a definite resource that guys are going to lean on, myself included. Uh, I was stretching for practice, and Sean came over and told me congratulations. So it was um, it was a cool moment. It, it, it really was. But uh, but like I said, I was I, I'm just very humbled that you know my my teammates that they kind of voted voted me in there. I mean, I know that is monumental for you. Yeah, uh, for, a, for a quick second, I still had to get ready for practice. So, um, but you know, kind of reflected on it later that night. And, um, but you know, like I said, it's an awesome honor. But you know, we're looking forward to uh, you know doing something here this year. So that's kind of been my focus throughout this well entire training camp. Really. Henry, oh, sorry, Henry, back, Rob. You know, you're one of the guys you know, almost from St. Louis. And yep. Just the whole journey, the, the players that your co-captains with. You know, all that kind of come down in those thoughts of the first one out. Yeah, no, you, you kind of see the picture of, um, you know, kind of, you know, hey, meet our new captains, and you've got, you know, five first ballot Hall of Famers there, and then my picture slapped up on there. So it's it's, it's definitely a good crowd to keep. But, um, you know, like I said, I'm just very thankful, you know, thankful for it. And, you know, moving forward, you know, I'm very happy, but we got a uh, good job to do. So. Uh, obviously, the Bills, you know, went after Vaughn pretty hard. Yep. Pass rush has been something that they've been focusing on this whole offseason. How do you evaluate, you know, a position group from them that don't necessarily have any film on them, nor their players on that team, you know, in previous times? You know, how do you essentially prepare for them? Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of it's kind of first game stuff. You know, you never really know what a team, like a new wrinkle a team is going to have. So it's always a little bit of kind of wait and see type thing of how, I guess, guys fit in the system, what they're doing now, what changed. But, you know, you, you just do your homework as best as possible. You know, obviously there's been a lot of guys that are still there. Um, that, you know, we we watched film on for la from last year and, you know, kind of taking pieces of where guys were previous years and kind of just watching how they play the game. And then have an, have, you have an idea of how that fits into the system. And then, obviously, the big thing about NFL football is adapting on game day. So you go out and see something different. you got to make changes. you got to make changes.